Uh, the next is Lucille Schmidt uh, from yes. France. Uh, she has been co-president of the Green European Foundation and is now vice president of the think tank La Fabrique Ecologique. Uh, and therefore, I like to ask you at, at first, uh, already mentioned uh, the, the, the link between basic income and ecology. So what do you think to that and what can you add to, to this link, which is, of course, very important for, for green politics? Well, thank you very much for um, having invited me to be here. I'm very happy to say hello first to all friends I haven't seen from some uh, years, I would say. And uh, what could I say on these links? I agree with uh, Philippe on the fact that um, um, I don't think uh, universal basic income is only green. I think that most of the values which were um, described or uh, uh, which we are passionate about, um, feminism, uh, uh, some fighting uh, poverty, uh, being more emancipated uh, are, I mean, we share that with a lot of Democrats. So in a way, I think that uh, it's not a green concept, but I feel that the Greens have been uh, uh, in a lots of um, occasions, um, a kind of active minority uh, being able to, uh, to uh, support what, what seemed to be a revolutionary uh, concept. So I think that's not, to, well, to me, um, before being a member of the Green, uh, the French Greens, I, I was in the Socialist Party. And I would say that Greens to me uh, seemed really to be a kind of avant-garde. And uh, I think that's, that's your pride. And you should be proud of that. But I think that if we speak of a universal basic income, we should think that uh, other uh, political families being on the democrat, uh, democratic side should, of course, join this, uh, this concern. So this is what I think. And in France, uh, I think the best example to give about that is the fact that in 2017, during the presidential election, you might remember that all the green candidates uh, took position uh, supporting basic income, universal basic income. But the, the question of the, of the youth, the universal, is something which is very often left in a kind of ambiguity, even in, in, inside the Greens. When, uh, because when you are a candidate for, to a presidential, French presidential election, you, you speak about basic income, but when you are asked about how are you going to finance it, how, what population are going to have it, do you have some kind of experiment to, be a pri uh, to, to give priority to? Uh, you, will, you will say the young people, you will say people being in poverty. And it's sometimes very often to say that even people being rich would get the universal basic income. So it was not really very clear during the uh, primary uh, before the presidential campaign. But after that, Yannick Jadot, who was, uh, uh, who was a green candidate, you might uh, remember that he decided to uh, not to go uh, till the end of the, of the election. And then it was a socialist candidate, Benoit Hamon, who uh, he joined Benoit Hamon. And one of the main uh, proposals of Benoit Hamon was a universal basic income. So the paradox in France is that today, as we are preparing ourselves uh, for the next presidential election. This is Benoit Hamon, who is a socialist, who used to be a socialist and who now is on the left, who is uh, certainly on, in the French political field, uh, the leader, the political leader, who is, considering, who is considered as being um, the, uh, the speaker for uh, universal basic income. So it's like, if the Green Party and the Green leaders uh, used to be um, an avant-garde and that when it became more popular and more debated, today it's a socialist leader or somebody on the left, I would say, uh, who is really uh, the symbol of universal basic income. The second thing I should say is that uh, after 2017, uh, Julien Bayou, who now is the leader of the French Greens, uh, created an NGO uh, whose name, whose title is uh, Mon Revenu de Base, so My Basic Income. 
And he openly referred to Germany, saying that he wanted to do something which has been done by the, by the Germans. The, 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 I don't know if it's the German Greens or if, it, if, it, or if it was an NGO. And uh, he, he decided, well, the, the structure has been uh, having crowdfunding and they, they decided to give to, um, to uh, six different people a uh, basic income of 1,000 euros per month. And there has been six uh, tirage au sort, uh, what you say, random at, uh, well, I don't know how to say tirage au sort in, in English. Maybe Nathalie will help me, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, so Julien Bayou, uh, he, I think he realized in 2017 that this proposal was very important and he decided that he should take the lead on it. But the question is that as it was a very restrictive experiment, it's not really part of the public debate. And that today I would say that there's a kind of joint uh, alliance uh, between uh, some people coming from the Socialist Party but having left the Socialist Party and the Greens on the fact that we should organize so that we, we could have a basic income. Um, what is interesting, if I refer to what Philippe was saying, is that both things are, are taken into account. Uh, Philippe was referring to André Gors and the fact that uh, uh, in his last um, writings, Gors was in favor of basic income, which was not the same at the beginning of his, uh, with his first writings. And uh, because it could emancipate people and give them um, and, and, and make a kind of recognition of the fact that when you work, you shouldn't always work for something for money. And uh, Benoit Hamon has just published an essay. I will give you the title. Uh, Ce qu'il faut de courage, plaidoyer pour le revenu universel. It was published at the end of, of, of uh, this month, uh, in, in October. So it means uh, uh, what courage you need, uh, plea to, uh, for a universal, uh, income, because very often in France, we, we, we talk about universal income and not of universal basic income. That's interesting because we are obsessed with universality. And uh, this book is considered as a kind of a, a way for uh, Benoit Hamon to be part of, uh, to try to be an actor in the next presidential election. So that's interesting because it means that for our uh, most important and prominent election, we might have something about basic income, which is a kind of paradox in France, where um, I would say that mainstream people were really saying that it was, as Adam was saying, a total utop utopia, which would never been realized. So might be part of our main political debate. The third thing I wanted to say is that 18, uh, head of uh, territories, uh, all socialists, uh, have been advocating for, uh, I would say, basic income for people uh, who are really uh, in a poverty, poverty trap today. And uh, there might be a, a kind of front between these socialists in territories and uh, some kind of uh, general uh, public debate at the uh, national level. And that's interesting because you know that in France, having debates in territories and having a national debate uh, was really uh, difficult. And with this concept, we feel that with this COVID uh, era, it might be possible because unfortunately we are having more and more people uh, being trapped in poverty and especially young people. And the question of experimenting basic income in France for young people who don't have uh, access to any kind of uh, uh, solidarity income is really something which is growing up. So I feel that uh, the notion is really having a future in France with uh, difficulties that we are not in Hungary, we are not in Poland, and we are having quite a, a very, we are not in Britain. We are having a very good social uh, security uh, um, system and that trade unions or other people might be afraid of the fact that uh, this uh, universal income could be a way for some people on the right or very uh, 
the regulatory uh, people to uh, attack our social uh, security system. And in France, for example, you have uh, Gaspard Koenig, uh, who has created a think tank named Génération Libre, uh, who is very much in favor of universal basic income because he says that we should get rid of uh, uh, all the system, uh, the state, uh, uh, the fact that the, the state is very powerful, the fact that people are working, uh, uh, are dependent on their wages. So the debate is, uh, is not that clear, even if, of course, today, uh, most of the uh, supporters of uh, basic income are on the left and, and are green and on the left. <laughs> 